Brandon Shanahan is the new president of the Toronto Maple Leafs and joins us now. Mac doesn't think that you've got complete autonomy. <laughs> <laughs> What's your take on that? <laughs> That's fine. Everybody can have their opinions. Uh, you said you're not here for big speeches, big words, big proclamations. Today's your first day of work and there's a lot of work to be done. What's your biggest concern with your roster? Well, again, not to get specific, I, I, I think that you know, I just have to, I have to get more information. I, I've had an outsider's look at this team, but I want to get an inside look. Um, and and uh, I just want to look for ways in which, you know, going forward, we can, you know, enhance the players that we do have, get more out of the players that we do have, but also make some, uh, some improvements uh, to the group. But you told your players that changes would be made this summer when you addressed them this morning? Well, I, I think, uh, you know, changes are made to every team regardless of uh, where they end up. I think, uh, you know, certainly uh, there'll be teams, uh, there'll be a team that'll win the Stanley Cup this year and, and a team uh, general manager, a team president will have to look at them uh, in the eyes and say there'll be changes to, your, to this team next year as well. Does that evaluation include your general manager? Can you repeat that? Does that evaluation include evaluating your general manager? Well, I, I think that that I'll have a better idea of, of where I see this organization going uh, the longer that I'm here. Uh, I can say this right now about uh, Dave. I've, I've always had a lot of respect for him. I think that he's, he's done a great job here. I think that uh, uh, he's somebody that I'm going to really lean on here, and uh, we're going to look to build this thing and, and improve it. A lot of talk about culture. As the president of the Toronto Maple Leafs, how do you change what's happened? Well, you know, I, I think that I'm in a position now with with our entire management group uh, to bring in players that have a winning culture that, you know, that can, again, uh, not only perform well themselves, but get more uh, out, of the, out of the other players that are here, give them more support. I think that uh, players are an astute group of uh, individuals. I think that they recognize and see when people around them are working hard, and those expectations are... Uh, are asked of them, I think that you have to work hard in management as well. How do you summarize what happened in the last 15 games? Was it a character flaw or was it a skill set shortcoming? Well, you know, I, I, I wasn't working for this team the last 15 games, so it would be unfair for me to really uh, make an but you assessment were watching. Uh, about them. I, I was watching 30 teams. So you don't have any opinion on what happened in those last 15 games? Well, like I said, I, I have certain thoughts and feelings, but they are from an outsider's perspective. I think that there's there's more information I want to get, um, and I'm not going to stand here today and and start, you know, wagging my finger and telling people what I'm going to do and and who's who's here to stay and who's going to go. And there's more information for me to get. So many people want to target leadership, though, with the three consecutive collapses. Well, look, we're going to look at everything. Uh, we're going to look at everything, and we're going to talk to uh, all the players. And again, I've, I've been on too many championship teams where the uh, leader uh, was the leadership was questioned right up until the leader hoisted the Stanley Cup over his head. So I've seen that before too. Brendan Shanahan, and then suddenly the new, he was a great leader. The new president of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, when you look at your organization, what do you like the most then? What I like the most about is the passion, really. I mean, I, I know that that can be a double-edged sword, uh, but I, I think that, for me, I've, I've always enjoyed playing in, in passionate markets. Uh, I've enjoyed uh, working uh, in high-pressure jobs. Uh, I know that, uh, again, there are certain individuals that can seem to perform well under the glare and spotlight and pressure of a place like Toronto and others that don't respond to it. Um, and I think that that actually, the, the fans, the fan base, the passion here, um, that, that can be a huge asset. Uh, but you have to get results. And if people don't want speeches, they just want results. Uh, what's your opinion on your head coach and the status of that evaluation? That, that evaluation hasn't begun yet. I think that, that Dave and I had to get through today. We've talked a, a little bit. We're going to talk a lot more. I can say that, uh, you know, I think Randy's a good coach, and uh, but as far as like evaluating him and the staff, uh, I have some questions, and and we're going to start doing that 
uh, today, and we'll do that over the next couple of weeks. Brendan, you and I had a conversation at the Board of Governor meetings at Pebble Beach after you suspended Dion Phaneuf, and you just wanted to make the point that you didn't think he was a dirty player. He was just caught in a bad situation. Uh, what is your opinion uh, about your captain and obviously the long-term contract that he just recently signed? You know, I'm, it's premature for me to speak about any individuals, and I, 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 I certainly have thoughts, uh, you know, but I, I don't necessarily think I'm in the best position to share them today. Thanks, Brendan, and congratulations on the job. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Brendan Shanahan, president of the Toronto Maple Leafs which is different than the Trevor Linden appointment, president of Hockey Operations.